What's up guys, it's uh, 6.30, we're gonna get started. This is MailChimp and digital marketing tips for DJs. My name's Mike, I go by DJ Access. And I knew this one uh, wasn't gonna be too, too well attended from the get. Um, you know, MailChimp's not exactly a very sexy title. If uh, I wanted to be super clickbaity with this, I would do something like um, the social media app that you're not using or uh, the best social media app that you're not using would be like the clickbaity title. But I like I don't like to do that. So uh, I'm just telling you MailChimp is uh, one of the best social media platforms that a lot of DJs don't use and a lot of content creators don't use. And it's one of the best ones. Um, and we're going to get into that in a little bit. If you're here on YouTube, thank you for being here. Uh, make sure you like the video if you find something helpful. I know I haven't said too, too much yet. Um, but if you find something helpful later in the video, uh, you know, hit the like button so other DJs can find it. We can build a bit better community. And then subscribe if you want more tutorials, uh, performance videos. What else do I do? Gear reviews, a uh, little bit of everything on over on the YouTube channel. Make sure you check it out. So unless anyone has any questions that they want me to start with, I'm just going to get into my notes. But um, we're talking about digital marketing and uh, very, very, very important um, for DJs. When I was first starting DJing, I would say, you know, 90% of what I was doing was practicing the actual art of DJing and 10% was, you know, where I'm thinking about marketing and sales strategies and everything like that. And now with uh, you know, me being, oh my gosh, what, 13 years in, uh, I'd say it's almost about 50-50. So 50% is me actually practicing the craft, doing DJing, making music, finding music, and then 50% is just strictly marketing, making videos like this, promoting videos like this, managing my social media, and all of that. So marketing is very, very important. Uh, I know a lot of DJs who uh, are great at marketing and get great and get a ton of gigs and maybe aren't the most talented. Um, and then on the opposite side, I don't know too many um, really talented DJs uh, that don't work on marketing that they get that see work. I I completely messed that up. I'm gonna edit that <laughs> for YouTube. But uh, I see a lot. It's very it's a lot easier for a DJ with no skills and really good marketing to be out a DJ with say medium or high skills and no marketing. Uh, I think that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> and. With everything uh, that I do, um, my tutorial videos, I want you to come up with a strategy, right? So what's gonna work best for your brand with respect to your social media? Uh, and the start of your strategy, what's your objective, what's your goal? Are you looking for paid gigs? Maybe you've just started DJing, and you're just like, yo, I need a little bit of extra money for, uh, for to kind of help supplement my income, and I need to book some gigs. I, you know, used to DJ, or I just started DJing, and I want gigs. So my social media needs to get me gigs quickly. Uh, are you trying to book events out of town? Maybe you're established in the town that you live in now, but um, you want to book events out of town and do some traveling and to DJ. So maybe your social media is going to look a little bit different. Uh, are you looking to book weddings? That social media is going to look extremely different from someone who's trying to book club gigs out of town. And um, are, are you just trying to establish expertise? Uh, that's something that I um, w try to do with uh, with these videos. When someone comes to my social media, I want them to see that I'm an expert in my field, and that typically will lead to more bookings because people want to um, to hire the best, someone who's uh, who's an industry leader, and so I try to fill that role. Um, or are you just trying to make sales of any kind? Maybe you sell DJ uh, uh, DJ gear. Maybe you flip things. Um, are you trying to um, book out other DJs? So not just yourself, but um, booking out other DJs. So you just have to figure out what your objective is, and that'll give you a start to your strategy. So what's my obje objective? I want to work with in influential clients and use their reputation to prop up my brand. So I'll say that again. I want to I want to work with influential clients and use their reputation to prop up my brand. I'm not very good at social media marketing. Uh, it, it seems to me, and I'm saying seems because it, this is how I view it. I know other people view it differently. But it seems very um, braggy, braggadocious to me, um, very braggy, like to um, post up things and it's look at me at selfies. And I, that's really not who I am. Uh, so what I try to do with my content is is do enough so that someone who's looking for that style of DJ sees that on there. But most of my content is going to be helping other DJs and is just uh, you know DJs for DJs comment uh, uh, content. And I want to say this. 
it's very obvious to someone who comes to my social media page that I'm a DJ and then anyone who knows me, um, I really hope that with the way I, I structure my social media content that they, A, know I'm DJing and B, uh, understand that, I, that I'm exerting my field and I, I really hope that if something comes up with music or DJing that I'm the first person that pops into their head. That's a, another goal of my social media, but not the current one that I'm really focusing on. Again, that's wanting to work with influential clients and use their reputation to prop up my brand. Um, so working with Ohio State University, huge name in Columbus, probably the number one name in Columbus uh, that people associate Columbus with Ohio State, um, being the DJ for the football team and the basketball team uh, and being able to say that uh, when someone asks me where I do, uh, where I play, uh, that, that, you know, good for good or bad, um, elevates uh, my brand because I work with another brand that's you know highly recognizable and has a lot of uh, trust and 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 loyalty behind it. Um, same thing with uh, the Columbus Crew, uh, another professional sports team in town. If you know Columbus, you know the Crew. They're getting a new stadium. Uh, who's the DJ in that stadium? Oh, that's that's DJ Access. That's DJ Leak. Um, so using other brands uh, to prop up my brand, so I don't have to you know, do the braggadocious uh, style of social media. I have no problems with the braggadocious style of social media. I see the value in it. I wish I was better at it, um, but that's not me. And we'll talk a little bit later about how your social media should be a reflection of you, the best reflection of you, in my opinion, but still a reflection of you. So we talked about, um, you know, strategy. What's your objective? We talked about my objective. And then the next question is, how am I going to use social media and my digital marketing to accomplish my objective? Again, how am I going to use my social media and my digital marketing to accomplish my objective? So that breeds new questions. What kind of content do I want to make? Uh, there are DJs who only post memes. There are DJs who only post selfies. There are DJs that only post them playing routines. There's DJs uh, who do a mix of all of it. So you need to figure out what type of content fits with who you are. Are you funny? Uh, do, are you, do you recognize funny thing? Maybe a meme account would be, would be good for you. You get the attention from the meme accounts and then you hit them with your targeted branding. Whatever your message is, whatever, uh, whatever you need to tell them to, to reach your objective. Um, you should decide which platforms you can appear on. Uh, every platform kind of has a different user base and a different style. So Facebook is the general one. Everyone has a Facebook. So you're going to get, uh, you know, more of your friends, family members, uh, you know, visiting you on Facebook more so than uh, a, br a brand like Twitch, where Twitch is really targeted towards gamers. They're getting, um, they're getting, they're, they're having more kind of communities jump into that, uh, jump into streaming, the DJs and, um, people who are just chatting, but ultimately it's for gamers. So it's a little bit more niche than Facebook is where not, you know, everyone typically has a Facebook, not everyone's going to have a Twitch. So which uh, platforms you want it to, to appear on Twitter? Um, you know, does the uh, style of Twitter work for you? That's probably my favorite social media platform, uh, objectively, not for business, but like just my favorite. Uh, I just like how you can kind of do it, whatever with your post. The only thing I don't like is you can't edit your posts. And I don't really like that. So you have to delete it. Um, you can't edit your posts. But I understand why they do that, especially with um, everything going on right now. Um, but, you know, figure out which one you want to thrive on. Where are your customers? Maybe you really like uh, uh, really like Instagram, but all of your customers are on Facebook. So anything you put on Instagram, uh, your customers aren't going to see. So, again, what kind of con or, uh, what kind of content do I want to make? Answer that first. And then which platforms do I want to appear on uh, and what kind, type of content works best for those platforms? And then you have to decide how much time you want to devote to social media per week. Um, a lot of DJs, you know, are not full time. So, you know, in addition to what they're doing to practice, in addition to their gigs, in addition to finding music and, and organizing music, now they're also having to manage their social media. So, some DJs are going to be able to spend a lot of time on that. The full-time DJs, the ones who are booking out other DJs, marketing is going to play a bigger role, uh, which means social media is going to play a bigger role, which means that's where you want to spend a lot of time. Uh, for another DJ, you might just have to rely on your skills and, and maybe spend a little bit less time on social media every week. But that time you, sh you spend should be really, really dedicated, especially since, like we talked about earlier, social media uh, and your marketing is about 50% of the game, in my opinion, right now. Um, and then once you decide how much time you get, you're going to devote to social media for the entire week, what percentage of time are you going to allocate to each platform? 
uh, again, if most of your customers are on Facebook, then maybe do uh, spend more time on Facebook. But if the gigs you want to play are looking at your Instagram, then sure, send, spend more time on Instagram. If you're looking to play in Vegas, they're not going to be looking at your Facebook page. Look at your Instagram. So even though maybe your friends are on Facebook, you really need to grow your Instagram in order to, to reach your objective of playing out in Vegas. Um, so we talked, again, I just want to recap. Uh, what kind of content do I want to make? Which platforms do I want to appear on? How much time am I going to, to devote to social media per week? And then what percentage of time will I allocate to each platform? Um, so now that we've kind of, we have our objective, we got our strategy, we know kind of what we're going to be doing, what tools are going to help me succeed, right? This is the internet. There are a bunch of, of, of things that will help us uh, achieve our goals, especially with respect to digital marketing. So one that I really, really like is Trello. And I'm going to share my screen with you right now. Check, make sure that looks good. Okay, we got it. So this is my Trello board. I don't want to spend too much time here because you know someone will screenshot something and see kind of what I'm working on. But you see all the difference. I have my routines, current projects, ongoing projects, future projects, mix and playlist ideas, and it goes on and on and on. And these this is kind of keeps me organized, right? So um, all these current projects, these ones I know are complete because the checklist underneath them. Are 29 out of 32 they're just waiting to be archived so when I produce a piece of content for YouTube I have my checklist you know I upload I make sure the titles good I make sure my description um, is doing well for the algorithm I make sure my thumb roll looks great um, I sort it into a playlist so people can find more of my content easier I do my tags same thing uh, the end screen handoff uh, to make sure that when they stop when the video is over that they watch another piece of my content uh, cards within the video so that, um, you know, if I say something like, uh, make sure you hop over to uh, DJ Leak's channel, a little pop-up can come up and then it will, it'll let the viewer know to click on that to talk, to go to where I'm talking about. And then pin comments, uh, it's like a question of the day and I can just leave that up there and hopefully that, that spurs some conversation within the, the video chat, which is always good for the algorithm. So, you can see that I do this for not only the full video, but the highlights. And then uh, here's all the places that I post. So I start with my web page. Uh, then I go to Blogger because the Blogger feeds my Instagram. Instagram is, uh, I think, the most professional, uh, uh, the most important social media for DJs uh, as a whole. Um, so I post there first. Again, Blogger feeds the Instagram um, because I have a little link. Uh, that goes to my news uh, page on my website. So I do want my link to go to my website. That's something that's important to me. But a lot of other DJs use a, a site called Linktree. And I can put that in the description. But Linktree is like a home for all the different links. So anytime you put link in bio, you can put something on your link tree and then that way if someone clicks on it even if they saw the post a couple of days ago they can say oh this is what the post was talking about and I'm gonna click here and now I'm going to the content well I do the same thing I just want people to go to my website instead of link tree I want to go to, to, go to djx.com slash news and it's gonna do the same thing that's populated by my blogger uh, I post to Facebook both on my personal page or um, my personal page as well as my business page and then YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, you can do updates from all three of those uh, platforms. Uh, I do. I still use Google Plus for business, not on the personal side. Uh, Reddit, I use very little because they don't typically like when you share your own content. So I have to rely on other people sharing my content to Reddit. So I don't typically mess with that too much. And then we come to our next one, uh, MailChimp. Because MailChimp is something that I send out at the beginning of every month to recap the last month. So for instance, I'll probably send out a, a recap of June 2020 uh, on the first Monday uh, in July. And that just is all the projects. So anytime you're looking at uh, over here, these current projects, this already happened. So I'm just waiting to push it to MailChimp. This already happened, waiting to push, waiting to push, waiting to push. This I haven't done anything on. Um, another thing that I'm working on, this is almost complete and you guys can see like these are my current project. This is stuff, so this is stuff that's always going to be happening and like I can just post updates here. Trello is absolutely amazing. 
Uh, it's super easy to use once you get the hang of it, which takes maybe the first hour or two. But just having this all here, it's on my phone. Uh, it, it goes with me everywhere. If, I have, if I'm out and I need to take a note, it's super easy to do that. I got my grocery list on here, um, some budgeting, all that. So it just keeps me very organized. Here are my weekly tasks. <laughs> uh, I guess that's you know for uh, for COVID. And then you have... Uh, all the play, all the, all the places I get music, the databasing, making sure that I back up my laptop, all that's here, right? And Trello is only going to be as good as your discipline. If you can put all, you can set up the nicest Trello board, but if you don't follow through on the checklists and the deadlines and everything, it's it's going to be worthless. So, um, my my advice that I've said in past videos is, if you miss a target in a week, that's okay. But if you miss it two weeks in a row, take a look at your Trello. And maybe remove a couple things because it's if, if you're just going to go week in and week out and not cross it off, then why is it on there? And then you, you're not you're not feeling like you're being complete with your um, with your weekly tasks. Um, so, again, uh, Trello is going to take you a long time to set up, but will save you huge, huge, huge amounts of time in the long run. Uh, just having those checklists and making sure I'm not missing anything is super helpful. And we talked about discipline. Um, having templates for stuff that you do is really great uh, make, and speeds up your workflow. So having, if you post a, a flyer, having a Photoshop template ready to go and then maybe you just change the names and the pictures uh, and some of the colors and then that way you can make content quicker. Um, so ha and having a good uh, idea of how Photoshop works is great for a DJ, otherwise you're going to spend a lot of money on Fiverr and graphic design. Having uh, templates for hashtags, so uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, they all use hashtags. And you know, maybe for your club gigs, you use a different set of hashtags. And then for your mobile events, you use a different set of hashtags. And your battles, same thing. So you can have like a list of all your different hashtags. You get copy, boom, right in there. And that's going to save you a lot of time rather than typing out, having to think about making sure you're not forgetting any of the tags that you want to use. Um, that fit your brand that you want people to you know your brand to pop up when they search those tags um, Content consumption as a tool uh, We all have the different accounts that we follow. Maybe there are a lot of funny accounts. Maybe it's a lot of DJs uh, I would suggest maybe following a few social media strategy accounts Gary V is the first one that comes to mind for everyone uh, on IG uh, and a lot of other different um, social media platforms, but Gary V shares a lot of advice uh, on this. Uh, Brian G. Johnson, if you are into YouTube, has great advice. But just find some uh, social media strategy accounts that that fit with your brand, and you know, hit follow, and they'll they'll pop up on your timeline, and you'll get a tip, and maybe it's something that you can put into practice, and that'll elevate your game. Because you want to make sure, you know, think about if I if I paid you know fifteen hundred dollars to get my website done in two thousand fifteen. That website's probably due for an upgrade. So you want to make sure you're, you're staying up on what the new trends are within social media so that your social media doesn't look old. It doesn't have to look the same as everyone else's, but you don't want it to look outdated. Uh, and we've talked about this. Make sure you don't lose your voice. Your social media should be a reflection of you. Maybe it's the best version of you. Maybe it's the funniest version of you. Maybe it's you know the highlights. Uh, but just make sure it is a reflection of you. You don't want to you know advertise something and then when you show up, you're not that person. Or you, you show up the first time and you're that person the second time, but then down the road, uh, that's only going to last for so long. So make sure everything's in your voice. You're not doing anything that you don't condone yourself, um, especially in, in these times. Um, you know, look, look, look at some books on social media strategy. They're not the, I always say, uh, look at like current content because, you know, books, once they're published, you know, they could be outdated within a year with how fast social media moves. Like a book that was written a year ago probably wouldn't have mentioned TikTok as a big player. And now it's maybe the second or third biggest player probably behind Instagram and Twitter as far as like, you know, obviously it's, it's different through age groups, but, you know, millennials are definitely on TikTok, and I, it's only a matter of time before uh, uh, Gen X gets on there. And then, you know, attending web seminars like this, classes, there's a lot of free resources online that talk about digital marketing, um, not just for DJs, but for, for all industries. And um, going to a webinar, uh, a web seminar or class can really, can really help out what, what you do with your social media. So I've talked about pretty much everything except for MailChimp, which is you know the first 
two words that you see in the title of this video. So why MailChimp? MailChimp is great because it eliminates the algorithm issue. Uh, so when I post to Instagram, uh, Instagram is going to show that picture to some of the people who, uh, who, who like my content a lot, like t t people who typically like my content a lot. It's going to show it to them, and then based on the percentage of those people that like the, the image, or maybe it's the, they show it to the people that are already online. And then based on the percentage of how many people like that, how many people comment on it, uh, interact with it, how long they look at it, uh, it assigns a grade to it, and then it'll push it out to other followers uh, based on that grade. So, you know, if I got married, uh, those tip, those type of posts or big life changing posts generate a lot of attention. So when it sh shows it to the first ten people, probably ten out of ten of those like that that photo, and it shows it to the next set of ten people, and maybe ten of those, and then nine, uh, and and that's how your your content gets boosted, right? It, it usually does within the first few hours of it being on, which is why post the, the time that you post everything does matter. Um, so it eliminates the algorithm issue. Most working people, most highly functioning people check their email at least once a week, okay? At least once a week. And uh, there your MailChimp email will be, right? So let's say I posted a new mixtape on Monday and I put it on my social media on Monday at five o'clock, but that person didn't go on social media by Tuesday. That's already old news. It didn't do as well as some of the other posts of people they follow, so they don't see it. Um, maybe I post it again on Wednesday. They miss it. Uh, they don't see my content at all. Very easily, they they missed my content. If I put it in their email and they check their email, even if they go in and they see DJ Access June Recap 2020, uh, even if they see that, they click the little check mark and they delete it, at least they saw it. So they know I'm putting out content. And the next time I see them, uh, when they say, oh, how you doing? Oh, I'm working on this content, the new YouTube channel, the Twitch. Like, oh, I didn't know about that. I can be like, well, you're on my mail, chimp. So if you don't know about it, like, that's your choice, right? I, they, they see the information, whether they absorb the information is their choice. Um, great if they do, okay if they don't. Uh, but at least you're eliminating the, oh, I didn't see that. You did see it. Uh, whether you clicked on it is another thing. So eliminates the algorithm issue. Uh, it lets you choose the highlights from each platform. So if I'm uh, a really funny DJ, uh, maybe my jokes go better over TikTok. So when I make my MailChimp, I share the TikTok video because it did the best. You know, Instagram, maybe people laugh, but they didn't inter interact like it like it did. So maybe if it blew, on, uh, blew up on TikTok, I'll share that, um, that video, and that'll be within the MailChimp. But maybe I shared a really cool picture that I took when I was when I was outside at a park and it turned out really great. So I posted that one, but and it did really well on my Instagram, so I post that. So it can be a collection. I do it monthly because that's what's comfortable for me. Some people do it more often, some people do it left often, but you can at least choose the highlights from each platform and put them in a space. So if someone opens your link, they can say, wow, that person got 200K views on TikTok. That's crazy. And their picture got 300 likes on Instagram. Wow, it's wild. They're doing really well. Um, or they're putting out a lot of content or whatever you're, whatever you're trying to, whatever your objective for your email list is. It should be the same as your social media goals. You should tr treat MailChimp like a version of your social media. So it eliminates the algorithm issue, lets you choose the highlights from each platform, and you get direct content to your audience. This is a far-fetched scenario, but let's say Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram shut down for whatever reason. They get hacked and they're shut down for days. Uh, you have direct content to your audience uh, by having their email list. No, no other social media platform gives you that, right? Uh, direct content. If, if you have to go through Facebook. With email, sure, you could say email is a version of social media, but uh, you know, Gmail is probably more stable than some of the other social media platforms as far as like getting hacks and getting accounts and things like that. So just having direct content to your audience through, um, through a social media platform, if you want to call email that, that most people check every week and at least look at each thing. You know, most people have their bills coming through there. Uh, just anything important typically comes through um, mail or email, and I think what we do as DJs is more digestible over email. I know some DJs that do mailers, that's not for me, so we're going to focus on digital. So hopefully you understand why I think MailChimp's so good. I'm going to let you guys take a look at mine.
So this is what MailChimp looks like. Um, when So you go to your campaigns. That's like your email campaign. That's where you like set up all your stuff. And then you can see all the emails I've sent out. So May, April, March, I do one once, uh, once a month. And you can see, you know, how many clicks and things like that, how many opens, uh, the percentages. So uh, it's just an it's just a peace of mind thing that lets me know that you know I'm getting content out. If if people want to see what I've done throughout the month, they can do that. They can reopen up the email. Um, if I want to create a campaign, uh, I would go to email, set a name, test, begin. And it's going to ask me, you know, who am I sending it to? Who am I sending? Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to show too much of this. Um, you know, you can select, you can, you can break your, um, your mailing list down into sections if you need to. So maybe you have like a mobile DJ mailing list and then a club DJ mailing list. Okay. And then you can basically just build your email. Uh, I just want to go to design. So you could, they have you know featured themes for you. You can actually go into their other themes as well. So you don't even have to really do anything. The font's already there for you. You switch the picture out. You now this could say this could be right here. Could be your DJ name. This could be the album, the mixtape cover page, and then here's the link. And then boom, you have a really nice email that you can use. Uh, you can uh, make your own or make a template. So here's my template. Here's what it typically looks like. Sometimes I, I write a note to my followers. Sometimes I don't. With everything going on, I did write a note to, for, for May. And here you could see this is what I put out on YouTube or Twitch. You know, I had a Spotify thing. And then, boom, here's uh, where you can find me coming up. And you can move that around. You have all the cards over here. And then you send your email out and your uh, subscribers get that content. So I know there's not too, too many people in here. Um, is MailChimp, is it worth paying for an account? I, I've never spent a dime on MailChimp. And I, I'm able to use it fine. If you have a big mailing list, you might have to spend some money. But I've never had to spend any money on MailChimp. Thank you for the question, Connor. And uh, shout out to everyone who are, is on Facebook. I think I'm going to wrap it up unless anyone has any questions. Uh, MailChimp is the GOAT as far as social media platform for the reasons that uh, I talked about. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments on YouTube. I respond to everyone and uh, no question is uh, too basic or too newbie. That's why we're here and I'm sure someone else has the same question as you. If you did find something helpful or interesting, like the video, uh, subscribe for more tutorials, routines, uh, gear reviews, and, and just everything DJing, subscribe to the channel, uh, share it with your friends if you can, and uh, we'll be doing the Columbus DJ podcast uh, Thursday, June 25th at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, on Twitch and on Facebook, Columbus DJ podcast on Facebook. Uh, we'll be talking with DJ Surge and DJ Days, uh, two very experienced DJs, one coming from the club game and one coming from the mobile and corporate side. Uh, Brian's the DJ for the Blue Jackets as well as Ohio State with me. And then DJ Surge has just tons and tons of experience in clubs. So that's uh, tomorrow, Thursday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then we'll be back here with another video. I should have my new studio set up by then so you won't have the, the chair. Uh, and I'll be actually set up, have some DJ gear in the studio but again just want to push out some content to you uh make sure i wasn't what's up snipes uh make sure I, I wasn't missing a week of of you know sharing content with you guys so uh sorry snipes you're catching us right here at the end everybody have a great day stay safe and take care of each other peace 